At number 10, Russell Brand. This man has been slowly exposing himself to the public over the years as his chaotic energy has just gotten worse and worse. Brand has previously gone down in history as being the worst host of the Video Music Awards ever, but now he's going down in history for being an absolutely terrible human being. Four women have come forward alleging that Brand mistreated them verbally and physically between the years of 2006 and 2014, arguably the height of his career. He strongly denies the allegations, and in a video that he posted himself, the actor claimed that while he was promiscuous, all relationships were consensual. One woman claimed that Russell had started a relationship with her in 2006 while she was still in high school and he was 30. Apparently, they met when Brand bumped into her at the mall. According to the woman, the relationship was meant to be anonymous, with Russell asking her to straight up lie to her parents. He even wrote her a script to keep things smooth. Another woman alleged similar behavior in 2007, but added that he had a massive temper, becoming physical with her a few times. Several more women have spoken about their situations with Brand, all of which were eerily similar and showed that he is a pattern of mistreatment. At number 9, Jonah Hill. Unfortunately, it would appear that the once funny man turned Oscar nominee is really a jerk. Recently, a news article broke of his ex-girlfriend, Sarah Bradley, revealing evidence that Hill was emotionally damaging towards her during their relationship. The couple first got together in 2021, meeting on the beach as she was a surf instructor. According to a series of texts between Sarah and Jonah, it's obvious that he is manipulative. He told Sarah to remove any photos of her in a bathing suit, which was a lot of them due to her being a surf instructor. When she did that, he told her it was a good start, but she didn't seem to get his point. He then told her, it's not my place to teach you. I've made my boundaries clear. You refuse to let go of some of them, and you've made that clear, and I hope it makes you happy. People felt that his boundaries were closer to ridiculous demands, and in another screenshot, Hill explained his conditions for maintaining their relationship, including stating that he didn't want Sarah surfing with men, aka her job. He wrote a massive list of boundaries and rules that were just clearly him trying to control everything Sarah did. At number 8, Oprah Winfrey. Who would have guessed that the woman once famous for handing out cars on her talk show is being canceled by the world. Why? Well, Oprah made a career-ending mistake when herself and Dwayne Johnson broke the one rule of being a billionaire, don't ask poor people for money. Last week, Winfrey and The Rock announced that they would be starting a relief fund for the victims of Maui wildfires. The People's Fund of Maui was given a solid $10 million to get off the ground, $10 million donated by Winfrey and Johnson combined. So why is it just Oprah getting so much hate online? Well, it's because she has a net worth of roughly $2.8 billion, billion with a B. The internet is collectively furious at Oprah for having the audacity to ask working class citizens for charity when most people can barely afford to put food on their table. The Rock and Oprah donated $5 million each to give the fund a head start, except $5 million to Oprah is like $500 to us. Oprah ended up addressing all the hate online, telling the Daily Mail that she was disappointed in the reaction from the world rather than focus on the good things and the people of Maui. The world was mad that she asked them to give a nickel. Oprah has yet to confirm if she will be donating any more to the fund, but so far it's not looking very promising. At number 7, Drew Barrymore. The actress and now talk show host made headlines last week when she announced when her very popular show, The Drew Barrymore Show, would return to air despite there being a massive writer strike in Hollywood at the moment that a majority of celebs have shown their support towards. The Charlie's Angel star claimed that the move was not intended to make light of the current situation, but rather as a way to create a safe environment to discuss the difficult topics. She posted a video to Instagram apologizing for all the pain the decision had clearly caused people. The writers who worked on her show before the strike were literally standing outside of CBS studios with picket signs. The internet called her a number of different insults and asked that she be fired from the show altogether. Well, apparently Drew heard everyone's cries and decided to keep the show off air for now. While she made the right move in the end, it may be too little too late. And number six, Danny Masterson. The actor, best known for his role on the sitcom That 70s Show, has been convicted on serious charges of misconduct. Three women came forward detailing a time when Masterson aggressively took advantage of them. Three separate incidents took place between 2001 and 2003, but a verdict was not reached until just this year. The first round of investigations actually took place while he was still on That 70s Show, but at the time there wasn't enough physical evidence to take things very far. In 2017, the investigation was reopened and it was reported that he once again being investigated. The women spoke about 
Masterson's misdeeds, and they were eventually able to scrape together enough evidence for a conviction. Another woman came forward in 2017, rounding it up to four accusers. It was revealed throughout the proceedings that Netflix had actually tried to dispute the claims of these women as a way to maintain their working relationship with Masterson. Eventually, he was fired from the ranch and, well, everything with his name attached to it. The actor defended himself tooth and nail right up until the final verdict. In the last year, former co-stars like Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis wrote character statements supporting Danny and literally claiming that he was a role model. At number five, Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada was well known for a long time, mostly as Will Smith's wife, but also for her occasional acting roles. These days, she's known as a disgruntled talk show host. For a few years, Pinkett Smith hosted a talk show online called Red Table Talk, where she would invite guests to come on so they could discuss various topics from upcoming projects to the man she was dating while her and Will were on not so good terms. The show was known for getting a little too deep into Jada's personal life, often making the viewers and her guests very uncomfortable, revealing details that nobody asked for. The company she worked for eventually decided to shut down their streaming and her show would suffer. The show may have also been canceled due in part to her husband smacking Chris Rock in the face. At number four, Colleen Ballinger. Former YouTuber and current demon, Colleen Ballinger has recently been outed as having inappropriate relationships with her young fans. Luckily, nothing went as far as becoming physical, but her involvement in various group chats with fans half her age was extremely inappropriate. Ballinger was best known for her character Miranda Sings, who became so popular on YouTube that she received her own Netflix series. If you haven't seen that, too late, it's been removed now. She was basically messaging her fans to deliver so-called advice when she was really just trying to manipulate them into being her unpaid employees and sending them to bat for her during any kind of drama. Following the backlash, Colleen decided to post an apology online. The only thing was, she did it while playing a ukulele. In response to the cringiest apology of all time, her former fans decided to cancel her for good by reminding the world of a number of inappropriate bits, sketches, and jokes she probably shouldn't have done and certainly should not have been available to children to watch. At number three, Katy Perry. Recently, Katy Perry took to social media to announce that she wants to quit being a judge on American Idol after six years over a fear that she's being made to look like a bad guy by the producers. For those who don't know, Perry had an interesting reaction to a contestant revealing she was a mother of three and being much older than she looked. In response, Perry stood up out of her chair and almost laid on the judge's table. The contestant, Sarah Beth, then sarcastically said that if Katy laid on the table, she would die, and Katy responded, with, honey, you've been laying on the table too much, in reference to her having multiple kids at a young age. At first, everyone laughed and this all seemed in good fun, but following her audition, Sarah announced she would be going back to California to be with her family, claiming she just wasn't cut out for show business. She later took to TikTok to call Perry out for the joke, which was shaming her in a number of different ways. Katie has been defending herself since the video, claiming it was not meant to be harmful, but she's made similar comments and jokes to many contestants over the years. And number two, Justin Roiland. The creator of the adult cartoon comedy series Rick and Morty was on a hot streak at the start of 2023. Rick and Morty had been just renewed for another season. His first person adventure comedy High on Life was becoming one of the most played games across the country and oh then he got arrested for being a jerk. Turns out that this man who made the world laugh was also a man who made women cry. It was revealed that he would be facing two separate criminal charges in Orange County stemming from a domestic incident that took place in 2020 with the woman he was dating at the time. While he denied the allegations at first, several other women came forward to share their stories of mistreatment from Justin, who had apparently been sending them horrific DMs online that varied from pretty tame to the creepiest stuff you've ever heard. Roiland was stripped of his contract with Disney and Hulu, who'd been distributing his series on its streaming services and were funding his most recent projects. Roiland was also replaced on both Solar Opposites and Rick and Morty, with the current news being Dan Stevens is taking his place. And at number one, Donald Trump. In 2000, in 2006, Donald Trump was known as a wealthy real estate mogul with a hit reality series called The Apprentice. He was recently married to Melania with a four month old baby. However, reports leaked that Trump was actually in the midst of an affair with adult film star Stormy Daniels after she filed a civil suit claiming the contract he made her sign to keep quiet was invalid. Daniels claimed that herself and Trump shared an intimate relationship for roughly a year during his marriage to Melania. These aren't the first allegations of an affair as Trump has been back and forth in the media since the 70s being accused by 26 women of mistreatment or misconduct. While these rumors have never held any merit at first, 
the truth was finally set free. After being the most chaotic president in recent history, it was announced in March that Trump was arrested on 34 separate violations of a New York law against falsifying business documents to conceal another crime. Over the years, he was essentially taking company money and using it to pay off anyone who may have been a threat to him, both personally and politically. Coming at number 10 today, we have Leah Michelle. It's fair to say that Leah Michelle is a celebrity whose reputation precedes her. The star who shot to fame after landing the lead role as Rachel Berry in Glee back in 2009, and since she's been the center of several scandals. Recently during her appearance on The Tonight Show, after the show aired, she would spark some fresh backlash after she could be seen moving Sadie Sink out of the way so she could take center stage. When Leah was announced on the show, she would walk onto the stage and she would briefly touch Sadie's arm before reaching across to shake Jimmy's hand. Even though Trake was closer to her than Jimmy, she stepped forward to shake his hand and awkwardly stood in front of Sadie until Sadie decided to move aside to give Leah her spot. In addition, soon after the introductions, Jimmy told Sadie to take a seat on the right of him and Leah to the left, and Sadie had to take a step back to accommodate Leah before crossing over to the stage so she could get to her designated spot. The situation did not go unnoticed as soon fans would start to praise Sadie for being humble by the way she reacted to Leah's dis disrespectful and immature attitude. Number 9, Emma Roberts. Back in 2017, podcast host Jane Hunt and Robert Ackerman sparked a viral rumor that actor Leah Michelle can't read or write. Since the podcast, fans have been pointing out moments that prove the actress couldn't read, and up until now, it's pretty much just been a huge speculation. However, during an episode of Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, Emma Roberts decided to play coy about whether her friend Leah Michelle could read and by doing so, she would reveal that the rumors are actually true. During the interview, Andy Cohen would say to Emma that the biggest misconception people have about Leah Michelle is that she can't read. Instead of shutting down the rumor, Emma decided to skirt around the question with a joke and said, well, we've not been in a book club together. While Michelle did try to confirm in a tweet back in 2018 that she can actually read, Emma's joke would definitely prove otherwise. Even though Emma did try to keep things sweet and try to offer some sweet support to her friend by shouting out her Broadway show, the part about Leah not being able to read definitely didn't go unnoticed. Coming in number 8, we have Whoopi Goldberg. 2022 was filled with controversy for Whoopi Goldberg as she continues to rebuild her image in the spotlight. It appears that the crew at the ABC daytime favorite show has appeared to be lending a helping hand towards the star. On January 4th, joined by her former talk show members on an episode on The View, she took the spot of the moderator on the the show, meaning she was in charge of teeing up links and starting debates and conversations, but Whoopi's prominence on the show didn't stop there as an insider would soon reveal that the crowd was also encouraged to cheer her on the loudest. As the crowd was warmed up by comedian Regina DeSico, specifically she told everyone to give a loud applause to Whoopi and then continue clapping for the other host. It seemed like the crew wanted Whoopi to get a standing ovation to make her feel like she was the star of the show. She also carried herself as if she had all the authority on the show and she even was seen talking over the other co-hosts and interrupting them, which isn't exactly a great way to start her comeback, but if someone has to encourage the crowd to cheer for you the loudest, it's a pretty clear sign that your time in the industry is almost up. Number 7, Chris Harrison. Chris Harrison's time away from the Bachelor franchise has really started to take a toll on him. More than a year after he defended a contestant's previous racist behavior in an infamous extra interview, the TV personality has finally addressed all the controversy in a debut episode of the most dramatic podcast ever. In the episode, he would say, I think I need time to figure out what I want to say. How I felt that mistake doesn't reflect who I am or what I stand for. While his extra comment marked the beginning of his bachelor downfall, Chris has been left feeling heartbroken, gutted, and embarrassed, and he stated that the backlash took a toll in more than one way. In the podcast, Chris would also state that his comments made him feel sick and worry about his children, loved ones, and family, and since he decided to to step down from his role on The Bachelor, he hasn't been able to watch the show, but he has been keeping an eye on the ratings and believes
believes the show is declining in ratings because he's no longer on the show and that hurts him a bit. Number 6 Sam Smith Rumor has it that Adele and Sam Smith may have more in common than just their heavenly voices as fans are speculating that they are actually the same person. During an episode of the Drew Barrymore show, Sam would reveal the craziest rumor they've ever heard about themselves. And it was that they were actually secretly the Hello Singer in drag. In the episode, Sam would say, Everyone seems to think that I'm Adele and Drag, cause we've never been in the same room together. And if you slow down her voice, it sounds maybe a bit like mine. So people think we're the same person, and I'm just in drag right now. While some fans in the past have made theories on social media, like one person tweeting in 2018, anyone notice Adele isn't at the Grammys this year? It's because Adele and Sam Smith are the same person, and you never see them both in the same place at the same time. Others have even begun to mock the singer on Twitter, suggesting Sam made up the rumor. With one person tweeting, Sam Smith says the craziest rumor they've heard about themselves is that they're secretly Adele in drag. Never heard that one before. And honestly, wherever the rumor stemmed from, someone definitely owes Adele an apology for this one. Number 5. James Corden On January 2nd, 2023, James Corden appeared on The Drew Barrymore Show, and James would be asked why he was leaving the CBS talk show after what would be eight years on air. James would then recall a story from two summers ago when he was shooting his Amazon Prime video series, Mammals. In an interaction with his son, Max, who was now 10 at the time, it made him realize that he wanted to spend more summers with his son because he only had six more left. While James said he didn't want to cancel the show, he would then blame the situation on his son. However, the timing of him deciding to leave his show just seems more like a career move and reputation thing rather than a reason to spend more time with his son and family because since entering into the spotlight, James has been a part of several controversies such as back in October the comedian's reputation took a huge hit after Keith McNally banned James from his restaurant in New York City and labeled him as a tying cretin of a man who was the most abusive customer he has ever seen after James was caught yelling at a server who got his wife's egg yolk omelette wrong. Number 4. Chelsea Handler While Chelsea didn't seem to end her career this year on a talk show, she did decide it was a good idea to mock several huge controversial topics from last year during her monologue at the 2023 Critics Choice Awards. While the star went on to reference things like the Don't Worry Darling press tour, the Roe vs Wade Supreme Court overturning, when announcing the cast of The Bear and that they were at the ceremony, Chelsea would then joke about the drama surrounding James Corden from a New York restaurant and how he showed us working in the restaurant industry is miserable. Chelsea then went on to mention that the controversial celebrity diet culture is just insane and while Chelsea was trying to find a way to have a great time and make everyone feel comfortable, welcomed and feel like they belonged and to be at the show, she definitely took things a little too far and all she did was put herself into a little bit of a hole that's just going to be difficult to climb out of to save her reputation and career and not to mention just a couple of days before, she would make an appearance on The Tonight Show where she would confess that she didn't realize that the sun and the moon weren't the same thing until she was 40. Yeah, let that one sink in. Number 3, Eddie Murphy. The original script for Star Trek IV The Voyage Home originally had a large role written specifically for Eddie Murphy, who at the time was a box office star coming off the heels of a successful film, Beverly Hills Cops. And additionally, Eddie was interested in appearing in the movie as he was a big Star Trek fan. He even met with the producer, Harvey Benner, and director, Leonard Nimoy to discuss the part which he was ultimately decided to not take. When he turned down the role, he originally said it was because he thought making the movie Golden Child would be a better fit for his career, but then recently on his appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live, he would offer up another explanation when he said, yeah, you know which one it is. It's the one where they go to San Francisco and they get the whales. I was going to be in that one. I met with them. They met when they got to San Francisco and I said, no, I want to go beam up and be on the ships so I didn't do it. This definitely has some die-hard Star Trek fans screaming as they would have done anything to play this part in the film and Eddie just turned it down because he wouldn't be beamed up into the ship. Number 2 Prince Harry On January 8th, Prince Harry made his very first TV appearance since his highly anticipated memoir, Spare, was leaked. In a pre-recorded interview with the British anchor Tom Bradby, Harry would address some of the most explosive claims in his book that 
included his confession to taking substances and his fractured relationship with his family. While the star said he was grateful to have the chance to tell his story in his memory and said he'd still be part of the royal family, he wouldn't have had the opportunity to share the story. Many fans of the royal family have stated that Prince Harry definitely should have kept this book hidden in the closet with his dirty laundry as he and Meghan have been slammed by newspaper columns and the media for a slew of lies that have caused them to mock the royal family as they try to move on and claim to live their own lives. Which has left us all to wonder when this is all just going to stop. Family feuds happen and it's normal. What's not normal is that you bring your family drama to the light and try to claim they wronged you without bringing any key facts to your story. Like how do we know it's true at this point? And coming in number one today we have Piers Morgan. Seems like Piers Morgan doesn't know how to stay out of the hot seat as recently he would find himself surrounded by controversy once again as this time he chose to go against the Queen of Pop after Madonna posted a video announcing her next tour. Morgan on his talk TV show then said that Madonna, who is 64 years old, is a hot mess and he even went out of his way to express that she should be put out of the pasture. He also took the opportunity to criticize the fact that she still tries to be a foxy kitten even though she's over 60. After his show, he then decided to bring his rant to Twitter where he said he thinks Madonna has become the biggest cringe making fiasco in the entertainment world. Fans definitely weren't happy with Morgan's words and many just continue to call him out on his insensitive, misogynistic, and even labeled him as a cruel person for his words. Number 10, Ariana Grande. The pop star and Broadway giant is set to star in a film adaptation of the Broadway hit Wicked following the story of the Wicked Witch before the events of The Wizard of Oz. Ariana Grande plays Glinda the Good Witch and Ethan Slater is Bok, the main love interest of the Wicked Witch. It's ironic that Ariana is the Good Witch though as she appears to have stolen another woman's man. Ethan Slater was married to a woman named Lily J since 2018, and the pair even welcomed their first child in 2022. Apparently, Ariana and Ethan fell in love on set and they started dating behind the scenes. However, on set, an insider shared info into Ethan Slater's wife, who was apparently furious. While the couple have agreed to raise their child as co parents, Ethan officially filed for divorce in July of this year. Number 9, Tom Sandoval. Vanderpump Rules star Tom Sandoval made headlines when accusations that he cheated on his long time girlfriend Ariana Maddox with their co-star Raquel Levis. On news of the Tom Tom restaurant's co-owner's affair with Levis broke on March 3rd, sources told People magazine that the affair had been going on for six months, leaving Maddox blindsided and devastated by the revelation. In a clip from the season 10 finale of Vanderpump Rules, Maddox explained to friends Katie Maloney and Shiana Shea about how she found out her boyfriend of nine years, Tom Sandoval, was cheating on her with their co-star, while also revealing that the affair had been going on for seven months, rather than six. Sandoval and Levis have respectively issued statements acknowledging the allegations within the week that the cheating news broke. Both have now opened up on the months long affair and have apologized since. Number 8 Lily Reinhardt Cole Sprouse and Lily met on the set of Riverdale in 2016 while filming the pilot episode for the series that finally ended after being the most confusing series of all time. I mean I had to stop after season 3 because they started getting into D&D and that's a Stranger Things game. Anyway they fell in love playing Jughead and Betty having a relationship that lasted almost seven years. Somewhere around 2020, things started to go downhill and they were plagued by cheating rumors and things had apparently become heavy behind the scenes according to Cole. Towards the end of that year, they confirmed the split online, but this year, Cole spoke out about the breakup while having a cancer stick in the middle of an interview, claiming he didn't want to get too deep into the topic, that it was a mutual decision. Unfortunately, Lily began receiving violent and threatening messages following the interview, as well as at the end of the show. This past week, the rumors arose once more and fans are becoming online detectives once again to uncover the truth. Number 7, Natalie Portman. After 11 years of marriage, it was recently announced that Thor Love and Thunder star Natalie Portman and her husband Benjamin Milliped will be separating following a very public and messy affair on Benny's part. Ben, who I assume is named after a cartoon was spotted with a 25 year old climate activist and while Natalie Portman was mad she initially tried to work things out with Ben in an attempt to save their marriage but the affair put a massive strain on their relationship. The couple had met on the set of the 2009 drama Black Swan with Ben acting as a scriptwriter for the project. While the affair has shaken up their relationship when asked about the issues by Us Weekly he said that he shared her pain and that he was sending her a new script. While they might be working together again professionally emotionally they have completely checked out. 
out. Number six, MGK. On February 11th, the couple announced their engagement last January, and then there were rumors of a breakup after they had three years together. Megan posted a series of pictures on Instagram with a pointed caption from Beyonce's Lemonade album, which if you didn't know, is all about infidelity. On top of this, she deleted every trace of MGK from her Instagram page and unfollowed him. In fact, she raised eyebrows by unfollowing literally everyone except Harry Styles, Timothy Chalamet, and notably MGK's long-standing nemesis, Eminem. It wasn't surprising that Megan's unusual behavior prompted people to speculate that she and MGK had called it quits after she'd found him cheating. Megan topped off the weekend's events by proceeding to deactivate her entire Instagram account. By February 13th, a source informed People magazine that the two of them hadn't quite called off their relationship, but they claimed that Megan had apparently gone as far as to remove her engagement ring, which FYI was specifically designed to cause pain whenever she takes it off. Apparently, the band is embedded with little diamond spikes that jam into her finger when she tries to pull it off. The final report claims that they had gotten into a spat, but that it had been blown way out of proportion. Then Megan publicly defended MGK's guitarist, Sophie Lloyd Online, who was the alleged mistress in this situation. But there seems to be no proof that anything physical ever took place. And the couple are currently working through their issues, but you never know what could happen in this wild world of Hollywood. Number five, Sebastian Ledget. This year, Becky G hit the 2023 iHeart Radio Music carpet without her engagement ring. She attended the ceremony at which she took home the award for best Latin pop song of the year for her and Carol G's music collab, Mummy. On Tuesday, March 27th, the same day her fiance, Sebastian, seemingly confessed that he cheated on his girlfriend of six years via Instagram. He posted that over the previous week, weeks during a moment that he deeply regrets, a 10 minute lapse in judgment resulted in an extortion plot. The 30 year old soccer player shared the info on his Instagram after a fan claimed to have proof that he was unfaithful to Becky G. The fan claimed that he had a tryst with a woman while he was out in a club in Madrid last year, and they allegedly had receipts of this affair, including video, audio, texts, and more. Their relationship seems to have crumbled, with the latest information being that Becky G is single, whereas Sebastian is trying to figure out incognito mode on his phone. Now, Number four, Steve Harvey. Now, Steve is trending on Twitter at the moment for two situations. One that actually happened and one that's been rumored. He seemingly fired his social media manager over a negative tweet regarding comedians and is now having to hear rumors about his wife Marjorie Bridges cheating on him. That's right, Harvey shared a video on Friday night suggesting that he fired his social media manager after they posted a tweet urging followers to name a comedian that does not make them laugh. Steve posted a video explaining the situation and claimed that that was not his style and it was not going to happen happen again. The morning following the post, rumors started circulating that his wife Marjorie would be seeking a divorce. According to the internet, she was caught having an affair with their chef and their bodyguard. So far, there is very little proof that any of these claims are actually legit. In fact, Steve himself has denied anything of the sort taking place. Friends and family of the couple have also claimed that they have been in contact and they have been told that there is nothing but happiness in their household. So this one is still a rumor at the moment, but this is a so far list and who knows what will be in the news in the near future. Now, Number three, P. Diddy. The rap star Young Miami confirmed that she and Mr. Sean Combs, aka P. Diddy, are no longer together. The couple went public with their relationship in June last year, but they let everyone know that it wasn't exclusive. They said at one point that they were together every day of the week, basically living together and letting the internet call it whatever they wanted. To double down on the claim, anytime they've been asked if they are official, they must list the people that they've been with outside of each other. Like these are all alibis in a court case or something. This past year, the world was shocked when Sean welcomed his seventh child into the world with a woman named Dana Tran. While the pair had decided to keep things private, apparently this was not part of the deal. And Miami has since made it clear that Sean is no longer her man in any way, shape or form. So while Sean is stuck raising another baby, Miami will be sipping poolside surrounded by her lovers. And I feel bad for whoever cleans that pool. Number two, Avril Lavigne. This year's shocking reports had hit the internet, claiming that Avril Lavigne had called off her engagement to Maud. TMZ insiders claim that things had been on and off for a while as the couple tried to mend their romance, but then they got in touch with the Karma Singers team and a rep declared that the last thing he heard from the couple was that they were engaged and that was only three days prior, so anything else would be news to him. Avril had been spotted out and about with a man named Tiger, who she claims is just a friend. But the internet loves to gossip, so the headlines were that Avril was cheating on Maud's son. One week after his tour started and the news broke, he posted a series of photos on his Instagram, making references to a broken heart and no knowing that there is a plan for everyone. He thanked his fans and went dark. Since then, the two of them have been drenched in rumors, and the only thing that has been confirmed is that these two now reside in Splitsville. And coming in at number one, Jesse Rutherford. When the news first broke of Billie Eilish and Jesse Rutherford getting together, the internet drowned
around them in negative comments calling to question why she was dating someone 10 years older. They also poked fun at this couple who dressed up as a baby and an elderly man on their first ever Halloween together. This is the type of thing that would become the norm in their lives. The couple were always spotted wearing matching clothes or outlandish outfits, even making their red carpet debut while wearing matchy Gucci pajamas at the art and film gala. The couple were also known for their very public displays of affection, over the top PDA and inside jokes with the foundation of their relationship. And they seemed very happy together until this past May, when news broke that the pair would be splitting up, claiming that it was a mutual decision. But it was later speculated that the split was due to Jesse getting busy behind Billy's back. Whether the spark just fizzled out or something darker took place, Jesse and Billy will be fine and find new people soon. I mean, just look at these two side by side. They are goth king and queen. His eye tattoo is really staring at me.